with just one prompt. I was able to generate this entire website in seconds, complete with customizable images and components that can gather leads out of the box. But even if you're just curious about AI or you want to see if this has real application in your business right now, stick around because this AI website builder will blow your mind, I promise. So the first thing that we're going to do is come to this website right here, nixo.io. Straight away, we can pop in our startup idea. Something that I've pre-come up with is the following, an artificial intelligence business coach, essentially. Let's go ahead and generate the site. So it's connecting to the AI, submitting a description, generating a startup name, designing a logo, collecting site images. And here we are on our new landing page. Now, as we can see, it's taken a lot of the input and get the AI powered edge with Coach GPT. So you can see that this writes some pretty decent copy. It's actually not that bad. So let's have a quick little scroll through and showcase of the website. So we've got some feature sections, couple feature sections. Only looks like it's generated two there with a testimonial section and a call to action. Let's go ahead and see what we can actually do to modify this. Although this is kind of cool that we can generate a website pretty quick, but I want to know if, it, if I can actually make it mine more and do some... some significant changes to it that I would want to add. So to do that, let's go over here and hit save and customize. So in order to customize, it's going to ask us to sign up. So I'm just going to sign in with Google. And while we can progress for free, let's have a quick little look through the features. Now, build monthly or annually. Obviously, if we build annually, it's going to be quite a little bit cheaper. But the biggest distinguishing factor between these two is this feature right here. So launching one site essentially or launching up to 15 sites all with the same features. So all these other features are exactly the same but as a demo purpose we can actually just continue using the free plan. So we'll go ahead and click this link here. Okay now here's where a lot of the magic happens. So if we want to actually customize the site this is where we do it. This is the site builder for this specific tool. To start with, let's actually go over to the site here and look, we can see the generated logo that it has created for us. Now, the cool thing is, is all of this content is 100% editable. So for instance, let's change this site logo. If I remove this, you can see it gets rid of it and I can re-add a new logo. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. You can search from Unsplash and let's just say logo. Let's see what comes up here. You can see how it brings up a catalog of images for us to choose from, or we can also upload our own. So for the sake of demonstration, let's use the ChatGPT logo and go ahead and upload that. And you can just see how it straight away plops it in. So we can't do things like change its size or anything. So it is quite limited in that functionality, but nonetheless, it works and it creates something that is time tested. Let's go ahead and play around with some other features. We can also change the primary color, which will change things like the buttons and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and make that into a green. You can see that I'll change that and some typography as well, it seems. I don't know if it changes much else. Let's have a quick look. Okay, green. Yeah, so it changes that banner, the outlines and these sorts of things. So that's like the primary branding color. Let's change that back. Let's have a quick look to see. I had a quick test before and I couldn't see that this would actually change anything. So let's change this to a green as well, the secondary color. And yeah, you cannot see, it doesn't appear to be anything at the moment. This seems like you can only change the primary color. So let's keep having a look through the settings here. So we've got the site name, which we can change. So let's make it something like, I don't know, let's change that around GPT coach and you can see how it's just putting text right in next to the logo and you can also change the SEO title and description. So that's just the site settings. Let's have a look at the hero section. So what can we change here? So we can change the title, let's change that so we can change that setting so we can make it into anything that we want. We can change a subtitle here to blah, 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 extra stuff here just to add more functionality. So we also have a primary button so we can show that, add another button, get started. We can change it to get stopped if we want to. So we can also change the sign up form here. So join our wait list. Let's join our mailing list. And that actually modifies itself quite nicely. Also, it seems that we can also change these images. So this is something that I was really interested to see if we could do. So let's go ahead and change this image URL here. So let's just search Unsplash and it will grab royalty free images. And you can see it actually changes the image, which is cool. So we can modify that to our needs, which is really cool. Now there's other things we can do like show ratings. We can adjust the stars. We can change the name and we can also remove uh, and add our own images. And you can see that. So a lot of these components are all modifiable. Let's continue down to the features. This is another really cool section. So each of these little accordions sort of nests all of the page builder elements that we can add here. So this first feature will correlate to this. So let's go to this feature. Just breezing through this, we can see similar customization features that we saw to the hero section. So again, we can change the title, this part we can change. We can change this. 
We can change the image here and we can also add a button if we wish, which we'll add it here. And we can, it also gives us the option to show reviews. So we can sort of customize the page in a way that we might want it to increase conversions. Likewise, we can do the same here with this feature. And it seems that this feature is hidden. So let's open this up and sure enough, it is hidden. So let's open that up. And this is a blank feature. So let's just say, hello world, my name is Sam. And let's add another chat GPT image because that's the only thing I have on my desktop to use as a demonstration, for whatever reason. So the cool thing is, is you can keep adding an in indefinite amount of these features. So I can add another one right here. And what it's gonna do is open that feature up, show the feature. Essentially what it does is just a side-by-side -side layout the whole way down. The next one we add, we can put an image over here, which will show up there as well. And we also have an FAQ section, which we can add, which we actually have to enable, which isn't shown by default. Uh, there isn't much customization we can do here other than modify the text. So that's an important thing to notice. There's only up to five uh, Q and A's, so it doesn't seem to give us any more option options to add more there and lastly we, it seems we have a call to action section which we can show or enable so re-enable that and it also gives us the option to customize these now we can hide the avatar images which might if they don't feel congruent with our branding but doesn't seem we can actually change the individual images so it's just sort of a, a placeholder which you know for the sake of this tool it actually seems to work quite well but yeah other than that it seems like there's one more section we can add a little note where we can add a title anything that we want names roles and add an image as well and i actually did test this earlier and this image url does not work at the moment as of making this video on february 16th 2023 if i add an image it will not let's just see if that wasn't just a blunder let's open that upload that chappy gpt logo again and it, it uploads here but it doesn't seem to register here but at its core really this gives you a website that's preloaded ready to go that only took me realistically and will probably only take you realistically about 10 minutes to create that a whole landing page and another thing to note as well is this page is fully mobile responsive and these are even with images that i've added in myself but yes the page is mobile responsive very nice just a reminder guys if you want to stay ahead in this ai revolution make sure you subscribe to the channel let's go ahead and move on let's hit publish and there we go we've got our website's been published and cool you can tell they're quirky and up to date with the latest memes but there you go look we've got our website completely generated and what's cool it's really cool as well is these email fields are fully functioning so i actually tried before with a previous email look join our mailing list success we'll be in touch soon so straight away this page is fully functioning and ready to rock and roll now what's really cool is i opened up another tab but let's go ahead and refresh this so this is our website dashboard we can have multiple websites here so if we've created one previously we can access them there and if we scroll down you can see voila we have our we have our email subscriber list now to actually download this you need to actually subscribe to the basic plan or the other one we're not going to do that but you could always if you're really stingy you could just copy and paste these Im these images or use like an image to text conversion tool with other ai tools to spit out that email into a csv but nonetheless there we go so now that we have this beautiful website let's just consider what could we actually use this for i'm going to try and put this into context for you guys so this is perfect for a startup or people who are looking to validate their ideas especially if you go with a premium plan which allows you to host 15 websites per month imagine running something like google ads and funneling people into your website to see and just gauge interest for a product once you have that interest then you could scale it up the one that actually succeeds and then build your business model off that which could save you an inevitable amount of money and we're also doing this while negating a lot of the costs that we might otherwise invest into hiring a web designer to create this website for us so at scale we can launch a bunch of these websites do them up very quickly without having to code a single line of code and gauge our product and service to see whether or not it has potential now can you use it as a website to actually bounce between pages like use it as like a blog or something or just to get your tablet like an online hub no however again they did say that they are looking to add this feature later in the future drop me a comment to let me know what you think of this tool are there any use cases that you can see will you be using it i'm very curious to know because i'm really excited about these ai tools and what's really cool this site without having paid this site is live this will actually generate emails it, we can validate our products straight away without paying a cent although the link is pretty sketchy but you know if you're 
directing people with paid ads, it's not the end of the world to have not have .com or .net or .biz or whatever the heck uh, other domain. So let me know what you think.